Hi everybody, a couple of days late, but I'm going to do a little bit of an announcement for um, week nine. And I found that well, it's, it, Canvas was running really slow today, but let's take an overview of where we're at as we get closer to the end of our time together. Let me see, here's our calendar. I was working on grades, so I hope you saw the announcement that I was um, kind of offset when I realized many of the grades I had put in for last week hadn't registered. So I re-put those in, and please send me an email. Let me know if you have any missing boxes. I don't want um, that to, to pose any anxiety for you as we get closer to the end of our program. So this week we have week nine, and tomorrow your clinical rounds discussion is going to be due. You've been doing uh, on a whole really good job with your clinical rounds discussion. It's been very interesting for me, and I think for your classmates as well. Um, the participation has been exceeding my expectations, so I'm very happy about that. And then your soap note is due on Friday. Then we're going to go into week 10. Now week 10 is going to be your last clinical round discussion on the 25th. So after week 10, week 11 and 12, there are no more clinical round discussion or soap notes due. So next week is going to be the last one. Uh, let's see, week 11, I want you to focus on writing your last paper and preparing for the exam. And as I stated, I'm going to have an optional exam review on February 2nd. And if you go and look, I'm going to be using a technology I haven't used before, so I'm hoping it's going to be helpful. And let's see, I have it posted in the announcements. So it's 7 p.m. I thought that would give everybody enough time to have dinner, do homework with the kids, and then sit and uh, spend some time with me going over the review. Again, it's optional. And if you just highlight that, you can go right to it. Put your name in here. I'm just going to put April. Mine will be different because I'm going to be facilitating it. And enter the room. And as we get into the Adobe Connect, you'll find that um, I'm going to have the PowerPoint here. Whoop, this is just asking me some stuff. And there you'll be able to chat, ask me questions, uh, raise your hand. So we'll see how it goes. Again, this is optional. If you feel comfortable and confident, um, there's no need to join. But if you'd like to sit in, it won't last any longer than an hour. I'm going to make an attempt to try and record it as well. Um, again, this being my first exposure to it in this uh, method or this. I, I used a different program before. I used to do this. It was my own program that I had obtained. Um, this is similar, and actually I think it's better than what I had been using, so it's the first time I'm going to be using this. So we'll see. I, I'm all for trying to use tools out there that um, are helpful. So let's see. Let's get out of here and go back to our class. So essentially, in week nine, you'll be doing the same thing that you have been doing in the past. Finding an interesting patient that's got some complications. And as you can see, last week we didn't, we actually had one case that wasn't related to women's health issues, but I thought that it was a fascinating case and I thought you'd find it interesting. So if any of those cases come up with your patients, let me know. It may be appropriate to incorporate that in and I'm always up for learning. So again, just a couple of minutes to catch up and let you know that um, I uh, 
hopefully got all those grades caught up. So take a chance, take a minute and go look. And I'll check in with you soon. Bye.